Hi, this is Abstract Jazz with URM. You're tuned into another episode of Under the Radar. We're here today with Jesse Jones. What's up, it's your girl Jesse Jones. Yeah, I keep it fresh from my head to my shoes. And I keep it fancy, I don't know about you. That's why the boys like me. This is what I do. Except for my friends, everything new. Everything new. Everything new. Except for my friends, everything new. I can't keep it fresh from my head to my shoes. Except for my friends, everything new. Everywhere I go, I be looking fresh. Even if it's Walmart, yeah, I look my best. Skinny jeans, Nikes, tank top in a vest. Don't want to snap back, let my ponytail rest. Everything new. Um, Jesse, what kind of artist are you? Well, um, right now I'm immersed into old school and the new school. And I'm mixing together, and I'm only 15, so it's a little different for, for what you heard before, so... Okay, so being 15, what's it like being the youngest artist in the game right now? For me, it's exciting, and it seems like I might have a lot to prove, but that's okay because, I mean, I love doing what I do. So if I can get people engaged in, in my activities and, and what I do, it's, it's the best thing. So I'm, I'm excited about being the youngest because even though if I'm more talented than the others that are older than me, I step out more and I shine more. So. And what was it like growing up? Growing up, well, around music, to me, um, growing up was fun. And it still is fun because I'm only 15. Because um, music is everything to me. When I wake up, I listen to music. When I go to sleep, I listen to music. So growing up around music is, is, is everything. And what kind of music did you listen to? I listen to old school music because my dad always plays old school music early in the morning on a Sunday <laughs> in the basement. He plays loud music, so it wakes me up. And um, I listen to Michael Jackson because my mom loves Michael Jackson. Right now, I'm listening to Taylor Swift, Nicki Minaj, Iggy Azalea, T.I., Lil Wayne. So I'm in everything. <laughs> and how did you get into rap? I wrote my first rap when I was 10. It was called Life, and it was 16 bars. And I showed it to my stepdad. He was like, do it again, do it again. So I ran upstairs and I showed it to my mom. She was like blown away. So I recited it over and over again that night. And then again, she got me my um, recorder and my um, computer. And that was for Christmas. So I started making music, and I got this beats from this boy called Darius. And he gave me 20 beats on the CD, and about two weeks or so, I was just in my room every night just, just making music and, and writing down lyrics to certain beats and how it fit and if it sound good, so I did that. And how old were you when you started recording? I'd say 12, 12, 13, because that's not, yeah, 12, 13. What are some of your inspirations? Right now, my biggest inspiration is Lil Wayne, only because... He meets my expectations. Every single line, every single verse, even if it's a feature, it's still hot. So, And what are some of your goals? My goal is to become big. I mean, I mean, everybody goes to become big as an artist, but still I just want to be somebody. Right now it's not about the money, it's about doing what I love to do. It's about making people happy with, with what I love to do. And I know other artists make me happy with what they love to do and making that music, so I want to do that. Okay, that sounds good. And um, what has been some of your standout moments so far? Well, my standout moments are my performances because I just came off the Youth Summer Be More, Be More Black Party Tour with Frank Johnson and um, Don Trunk. And when I performed, I didn't know the kids were going to, like, run to me like they did and scream like they did so like that like my performance as itself increased the quality of my performance so my performances are definitely my highlight as an artist okay. do you have any upcoming music or projects upcoming projects is my play in the fame and fame it's called the fame excuse me and i play doris one of the main characters and the play is from november 20th to november 22nd at Oberly high school it starts at eight o'clock as far as my music i have a single out right now called text messages on itunes spotify beats music and my second single is coming out it's called everything new okay. so can you tell us again where we can find your music 
You can follow me on all social media at Jesse Jones, J E S S I J O N E. <laughs> I repeat, J E S S I J O N E. Well, thank you, Jesse Jones. Tune in next Sunday for new interviews every week on URM Under the Radar.